In this video, I am going to explain how the digital escape rooms work. So whether you're a teacher or if you're a student, if you're a student, definitely ask your teacher to just try these escape rooms. They're a lot of fun. And if you're a teacher, here's how it works. The first thing we're going to do is show the kids one of these videos. In the video, the first couple seconds explain the plot of the scenario that the kids are in that they need to escape from or find certain tools that's going to help them on their journey. Um, it's going to tell you when to pause, so you're going to pause the video and then you're going to go ahead and give the kids these worksheets. Now these worksheets are designed for specific subjects um, that the kids have been learning. They need to solve the questions and it's kind of like those possessed um, puzzles you may have seen earlier where the answer to the question matches up with a letter and all those letters combined are going to give rise to a clue. Those clues are going to help solve the problem that was introduced in the video. Once the students are done with the clues and they solve the problem, go back to the video and you can see if they were correct and if they found the right location or the right tools. Now I do have interactive versions. In the interactive versions, what the kids are doing is they're logging on to additional links that help give rise to the clues. So it's up to you which version you wanna use. Both are fine. This activity is perfect for end of the year activities, holidays activities, or if there's a sub that you're planning for. So I hope you enjoy that. Let me know in the comments how it goes. And please let me know if there is a topic that you want me to create an escape room for you. And I will definitely do that. Here's me wishing you well and good luck escaping.